Democratic Action Party of Kenya leader Eugene Wamalwa has refused to endorse the National Dialogue Committee report, citing the glaring omission of the critical issue of lowering the cost of living. While nine out of the ten committee members signed, Wamalwa dissented, blaming the Kenya Kwanzaa team for their perceived lack of commitment to tackling the high cost of living. And as Ben Kirui reports, the NADCO team submitted its final report to opposition leader Raila Odinga at his Capitol Hill offices and President William Ruto at State House. Members of the National Dialogue Committee, NADCO, officially presented their report to Azimio leader Raila Odinga on Friday, conspicuously missing, was one of the members of the 10-member committee, Eugene Wamalwa. The Democratic Action Party of Kenya leader who dissented cited the glaring omission of the critical issue of lowering the cost of living in the report. I felt we did not do justice to the single most important issue uh, amongst the five issues that we were discussing, which was the cost of living. That matter, if you read the report, you find that there was a serious disagreement on that issue. And this is an issue touching every Kenyan. And things have just gotten worse because many Kenyans cannot make ends meet. Wamalwa further argues that the report prioritized the matters beneficial to the political class, neglecting issues that significantly impact the common citizen. In expressing his disappointment, Wamalwa lamented the struggle that has become a daily life for Kenyans. Many families that can hardly afford a meal a day. And yet we see the cost of living going even higher. So at Bomas, this is a matter we fail to address. Wamalwa further accused the Kenya Kwanzaa team of lacking political goodwill and commitment to making life more bearable for Kenyans. There was some bias on the side of our Kenya Kwanzaa uh, colleagues. Uh, there was lack of goodwill and good faith. And uh, uh, I felt that uh, to some level, they were only focusing on the memoranda issues. In a letter to Parliament, Wamalwa expressed his reluctance to claim his sitting allowances due to a fundamental disagreement with the NADCO report, asking that the money be returned to sender. His decision coming after he received an invitation to provide the bank details for payment. I also made, uh, made it public that I would, I would also not be accepting the sitting allowances. So today I formally put my position on record in Parliament through uh, uh, a written uh, communication. The NADCO committee, established to foster dialogue and consensus, was a task with recommending constitutional, legal and policy reforms. These reforms address key areas such as auditing the 2022 electoral process, the cost of living and restructuring and reconstituting the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC. Ben Kirui, Citizen TV, Nairobi.